greatest gift of all. We can't go on pretending day by day that someone somewhere will soon make a change. You know, whether it's speaking up or listening to a child or supporting a child, recognizing when things are not okay and, and needing to involve professionals. These are challenging things, I think, for everybody, more so our, our vulnerable kids. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day, so let's start giving. The idea of bright lights is celebrating our kids, but also recognizing that when we come together as a community, we are stronger. The Bright Lights concept was always about celebrating and singing and food and raising of a star and putting it on the tree and, and then lighting up the tree and the bright lights resembling these are our kids. And so every time we see these bright lights, we want the community thinking about our kids. And then the Blazer game just, it worked out so wonderfully this year and being able to get the support of the Blazers and do a performance during one of the intermissions at the Blazers involving some amazing singers just started snowballing into this amazing opportunity. Approached by Tara who is the executive director for Big Bear Child Youth Advocacy Centre and she just wanted to be able to come to a Blazers game do something kind of cool and different and really just raise awareness for what they do in the community. When we thought about um, the idea of just having a performance and having singers that just reached out to Henry and unfortunately Henry was out of, out of uh, town during, on the 30th during that game, but he had the connection to, uh, so the, to these six amazing singers that we had on the ice. And so um, it, literally they, they really didn't know what it was about and just called the singers up. And literally I think it was, you know, maybe one sentence and they're like done. crowd we were standing room only and it was really just an exciting environment we had a performance in the second intermission and something that I haven't done before where we actually turned the lights off and we invited our fans to use their cell phones we had glow sticks that were given out at the door and we really just wanted to create a, a different environment to have a performance on the ice and really make our fans watch take, take note of what was going on and hopefully say wow and and I think we really hit the mark. With the Team Big Bear being on the fan bony and throwing the special, you know, bears into the audience from our center um, was just creating that awareness and then having this special performance. The feedback has been pretty phenomenal. The feeling that it created at second intermission during the, the Blazers game with the, the lights turning down, the, the music starting, our six singers starting the song, We Are the World, and then we had children from the Thompson Youth Honor Choir and some other children that were able to join us on the ice. All of us working together, even from the ice, we could hear just a, a little bit of an echo of people joining in song. We're saving our own lives. This year will make a better day, just you and me.
children and youth um, have experienced child abuse without the right supports, um, it does increase the risk for such adversities, negative adversities like uh, poor mental health, or substance abuse, uh, or homelessness. And, you know, the stats out there for Canada, it's, it's over 70% of, of kids that are homeless are homeless because of fleeing and abuse. We're talking about physical and sexual neglect and online trafficking and exploitation um, and domestic violence and you know, even kids that are witnessing pretty horrific things in our community. Um, child abuse, the stats are one in three children. And so when you take a look at um, a community of 100,000, you do the math, that's a pretty significant number.